If your friends make fun of you because you don't have the brand name tire, you should get new friends. Okay, so real quick, real quick. We're gonna waste some of these tires, but they're not gonna be the lightest. They're not the most expensive. Okay, real quick, uh, we've started a Patreon. Um, I know this is a lot of people do this, and I know some people have mixed mixed feelings about it. But we have a lot of extra video we can't put in our YouTube videos. What do you think? I think um, that it's going to be awesome. We do have a lot of extra videos, some stuff that people have been asking about. We'll call outtakes, bloopers, uh, dandyisms. Yep. So. so go check that out on our Patreon. We'll put a link below. Um, the, all the information you'll need to see those videos will be down there, right? Is that yeah, right? the opportunity to join the Cool Kids Club, like all of it, everything you need. So link up below and tell us what you think. Awesome. Thanks, guys. We're going to waste some of these tires. We're going to talk about weight and how it affects performance of a car. I just want to point out, here's what we've been running, right? This is a super light tire. Right. And we'll weigh it in a minute and we'll show you exactly what we mean by this. Here's that tire mounted on a wheel. Okay. This package is super light. And Here's what one. is that? That's a Saskat Track Extreme? No, it's... Uh, we'll have to put it up on oh, the Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. It's, you contacted them recently. That's right. And we were going we were gonna to buy them, and there's a price. W it's expensive. Yeah. We'll talk about that in a minute. That's what, one of the things we're going to cover right now. Here's what we're going to try out, right? Some of these. We'll come back to all that in a minute. But we're going to weigh... Here's a, like, this is a pretty good range right. of, of tires and what they can weigh and the difference and what they can cost and what they can cost which is really important so here's the thing if you uh, if you have a car that you've tuned you've done everything you possibly can to make it as fast as you possibly can and that's what matters to you getting up the hill as fast as you can or you race the car in sand or you care that you can beat everybody up uh, old hill or comp hill or whatever hill or what are down the drags in the sand, then you probably want something like this. Not, and when I say something like this, I don't mean necessarily this exact configuration as far as the number of paddles and stuff that this has or height, but something this light, right? But that's very expensive. This is a $450, or roughly 400. By the time you pay tax and shipping, this tire is gonna cost you about $450 or more. Just, just the tire, tire, one tire, Yeah. right? No wheel. And we're gonna run them again. Oh yeah, we want to get yeah, some sand gonna, tracks eventually. I mean, yeah, probably some. Probably, we're probably gonna some sand craft. Actually. Yeah, we're probably gonna go with some sand craft destroyer thirty twos. Yes. But yes, here's yes, what happen. Here's what can happen, because they're super thin. That's how they get so light. You can experience that after a while, right? Yeah. So that's a, you know. That's no bueno. Okay. So it's a big invest investment, and, and eventually they're gonna. Eventually, all tires are gonna. Please run until the wheels fall off. Yeah. So. From there, you kind of go with something like a molded tire, right? Right. And here's kind of, here's the difference, right? Here is probably your kind of run of the mill, uh, what I would call run of the mill. This is a. Um, That's an EFX sand slinger. Yeah, e EFX sand That's slinger. That's a 29 inch. Yeah. Which would be really similar to a. Um, uh, sand strippers? Yeah. G, GMZ sand stripper, uh -huh. GMZ sand stripper, something like that. And then the pro armors, we had some pro armors. They're pretty heavy and we'll show you. And it's kind of an unfair comparison because it's a 29, this is a 30, but we'll, we'll at least show you. But then again, it's a 29 and 30, but this is wider. So if you yeah. take that into consideration, this is a 14 and that's a 12. Yeah, but still this, we'll get into this. This is a little yeah. lighter tire, okay. right? This is a super heavy molded aggressive. If you're putting a ton of horsepower down, you know, I don't know, the weight doesn't matter, but this would be cool for certain applications. Right. And they're going to be for sale because we actually ordered the wrong one. It's, it's wrong a long story, story, but yeah, we're selling So, But we're going to try these, and this is one mounted right down here. And these are the Tusk Sand Lights. Correct. And here's one mounted right here. Right. That's pretty and good. here's what we have been running. Yeah. And here's a big horn, and we're going to weigh all of them. And, and then we're going to weigh as much as we can without wheels and tires. And, and anyway, so price. For the weight it's not worth it to run these if you're just gonna go out and have a good time doing if your car uh, if you can, even if it's tuned it. yeah if you can if it's not it's just it's not worth it if uh, if you're just not trying to get that you know you're gonna shave a little bit of time off going up the hill maybe your belt will last a little bit longer maybe you'll have a little better with thought of response but if That's you're just out doing it respondle if you're just out doing something like this Totally fine. Is your smart is a smart We've way been to go. running these doing. Yeah. The big horns. If you're 
Just out doing something like this is a smart buy. Mm -hmm. Don't be crazy. Don't be crazy. You don't have to do something like this. No, you don't you have absolutely. to. Absolutely. But if you want that, you want to squeak out that little bit of more performance, keep in mind. So let's say, just if you want to compare this to a drag car, right? So you have a car. You buy, you buy a brand new Camaro. Let's say, I don't, I don't know what they do, but a brand new Camaro, and it does 13 seconds in the quarter mile, right? It'll run a 13 second quarter mile. And you want it, want it to run 12s. So let's say that's a thousand bucks, right? To go from 13 to 12. Just, you know, some bolt-on parts or whatever. Typically, then if you wanted to go from that 12 up to the next, that's gonna be a couple grand, not two grand, or it might even be five. It grows exponentially. Kind of same thing with performance on a side-by-side. -side. Right. And this is the extreme version of that. You don't need this if you're not trying to be extreme. If your friends make fun of you because you don't have the brand name tire, you should get new friends. Exactly. Anyway, but, if you can't afford this, awesome. Yeah, yeah. They're awesome. They perform very well. We like them very much. These and we will are very light, and we'll show you exactly how light Those they are. Those are Dean's handy gowns. We we'll show them. you exactly how light they are in a minute. We'll show you how much all of these things weigh right now. Yep. All the different things. All the different types of things. Woo! Right. Okay, so I don't know. Let's start, with, uh, let's start with this guy, right? This is only a 29. It's a wide tire. It's not bad. I mean, if you, if, I don't know, so you have a car, I don't know, I, I can't, maybe a Yamaha? You want to, you want, you want to run 29s, it's got a bunch of horsepower? That's a 29. Or you want it just four, an expensive tire? That's 14 tire. inch wide, yeah. Yeah, these are going to be, uh, these are, what's up? We bought them. We'll give you a good deal. We yeah, just, we can't use them. Yeah, sand slingers. Okay. But they're not going to be the lightest. They're not the most expensive. 32 that's, pounds. Yep, 32, just over 32 pounds for that. Just okay. the tire, no wheel. Yep. Okay. So that's that. All right. But, you know, and here we are, ran heavier. Here are the um, tusks, sand light. This is what we're getting ready to run. Yep. In uh, Glamis. Yep, that's what we and have. we have one mounted up, and we'll show you what it weighs on our wheels in yep. a minute. Here's how much the tire weighs. That's that tusk, sand light. These are 30s. That's just over 28 pounds. So significant difference. That's a four pound difference per tire. Yeah. That's 16 pounds. That's almost 17 pounds, actually. That makes a difference. And the other thing to keep in mind about weight on a tire, right? Let's say, wheel and tire combo, right? So you have, uh, okay, so like I was saying before, the GoPro shut off all by itself. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so when you take weight on a tire, right? And you push the throttle, and your car wants to spin all that weight. So if the weight's way down here in the center, some additional weight, not that big of a deal. You add a bunch of additional weight way out here, leverage, it makes a big difference, right? So if you look at the difference in these two tires, see how little flex there is, see how thick these are? Mm -hmm. This is a really rugged tire. So if you're, you know, if you want a tough tire, this is gonna hold up. This is this will last a long time. You'll you'll never replace this tire. It'll run the lifetime of your car, probably. Right. Right? This tire, however. Look at that, say so I can flex those. See how I can flex that? Yeah. There's less weight out here. So even though this is still a fairly heavy tire, there's not a ton of weight up here. There's more in the sidewalls. These sidewalls are super thick. They're super heavy. That's where a lot of the weight is, and we know because we already mounted one in it. Was a pain. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. This tire, extreme opposite of all of them. Look at this. Yeah. See that? Yeah, Everywhere, yeah. sidewall. So super light, great for, for performance, not super durable. This tire is only, I don't know, it's only a few years old. Look at that. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's the thing. And, you know, we ride in the sand. It's not like it was bro yeah. scratched into by a branch or a rock. So you're going to pay a ton of money. It's not going to last as long. That's just the way it goes, right? Yeah. So we've weighed... This guy was we read the FX sand slinger was thirty two. That's a twenty nine four five fourteen. The uh, this sand, the tusk sand light, which is a thirty by twelve. <coughs> that one weighed twenty eight. That's four pounds difference. Yeah. Now we're about to weigh these. Uh, these are the WRC extreme. Yep, and these are ridiculous. I'll tell you right now. That is a seventeen pound tire, folks. That's well, a seventeen. Okay, oh, say sorry. eighteen. 17.8. Yeah, pretty close. Okay, so like at 18. So that is giving us um, like 10 pounds difference yeah. just in tire. That's a big difference. That's 40 pound difference between the other one, which was already 20. So we're talking almost 60 pounds between the 
the third tire and the uh, that EFX sand slinger, which is actually a smaller tire too. It's only a 29. Yeah. Awesome. So here, and then here's a here's just a stock Bighorn that comes on your. Right. Which about. we've been running Bighorns in the sand the last couple of trips. We haven't had paddles. This is tire only. Tire only. And that's going to be a 30.9. Let's call it 31. So it's still a pound less than the EFX sand slingers. But a little heavier. But a little bit heavier than the uh, the Tusk sand lights. And, and look that's at big horn. And look at where a lot of the weight is. Yeah. Out here. yeah. So we're going to feel that. We're going to feel a difference. Yeah. Not yeah. to mention, it's gonna, we're going to have better traction, but it's also going to perform better. Well, I'm pretty excited about it because we, I think we did a great job running on those big horns. I wasn't disappointed at all. Here is our original wheel and tire combo we've been running right I love you tires. yeah but no more because we gotta re replace them Broken. but so this one's gonna get pulled off and we're gonna put another task on here but here's how much this guy weighs this wheel is wheel and tire. and tire now we're talking we're at 32 just over okay we're gonna say almost 33 pounds wheel and tire yeah that's and the tire by itself that first one that 29 inch efx sand slinger was 32. yeah the tusk is four pounds less than that. It doesn't have the wheel on yet. Let's try it right away right now. This is what we're running now, this trip. Yeah, so and this trip we'll be running this combo, and I can tell you it's definitely happier. But again, remember, um, less weight out here in this area than something like this tire over here. Right. More in okay. the sidewalls. Okay, so we're at... 42, say 42 pounds, that's tire and wheel. Those are the Tusk sand lights, 30 by 12. 42, we were running the other ones, which are 32, so we're talking 40 pounds overall. I mean, I'm sorry, 20 pounds at least overall difference just in those two rears. Okay, but two. So how much per wheel and tire? 10 per wheel and tire. Ten. Yeah, so 42, that was 32? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so 10 pounds. 20 pounds total between on the paddles. still lighter than uh, a big one. Definitely. Yeah, paddles. Yeah. So. Yeah, the big one was 33 or whatever by itself, 32, 33 by itself. And then. Wow. Let's do this. Here's a. Here's the wheel. Stock. MSA. Oh, no, that's the stock. OEM Can-Am X3 wheel. Off of our ARS. 17 okay, so like 16 pounds. 16 pounds. And then we already weighed the big horn, but let's weigh it again. Okay, yeah. So 31. So we have 46 pounds. Yeah, we're at 46. Wait, 16, 30. Yeah, 46, 47 close 40, So closer to 47 pounds is what we've been running, and we're going to go down to 42. Yeah, so we're, we're getting 10 pounds. Uh, how much per tire? Five. Five. So we're dropping about five per wheel and tire from what we've been running, which is the big horns. Three this is that. We're running about 30 pounds. Oh, yeah. We're going to be actually dropping more because we were running big horns all the way around, obviously. And now we're going to be running those buffs in the front. Yeah. So we lost 10 pounds in just the paddles. And then the, the difference between those and those behind you is what? Because those are going to be on the front instead of big horns. Uh, let's see. These are... Two these actually aren't that light because these are like mongols that, but that were cut down but these are uh, these are our front wheels which we're staying with we're going to keep running these buffs so Let's those were 47 these. all around they, they so this stand is up, so 37 that's 10 so we're losing 10 20 30 pounds all the way around 30 pounds all the way around from what we've been running with the plus uh the grab the having the paddles like we're going to be able to do some different types of duty people have been beating us going up bolts we wanted to we're a sleeper guess what folks <laughs> i don't know i'm not going to talk a lot of crap because it's still heavier tire yeah but so yeah. we're going to try these out we're going to see how they do and if they aren't great who cares we're going to have fun yep. so we're going to mount that last one and <laughs> and we'll come back we're going to put them on the car we'll show you what they look like on the car yeah i'm going to go make chicken. Sure